I bet you never thought you'd hear Amy Grant on the Tone Junkie uh, uh, TV here. Hey guys, HW here, what's up? Uh, back with another tip and trick. Uh, trying to do uh, one or two of these a week, I think is gonna be how I wanna do this going forward. And I wanted to bring you this one because I'm about to do a whole video just on performance mode. And um, I wanted to show you this trick because it's a performance mode sort of Kemper workflow tip. It's about saving stomps and effects as sort of one unit together. Um, not only on the Kemper can you save individual effects, you can actually save the entire stomp section and the entire effects section at one time. Why is this useful? It's super useful if we're trying to build uh, performances and just really useful for putting together kind of familiar sounds with new profiles in browse mode. Let me show you what I mean. Now, what I've dialed in here is the Tone uh, Queen Falcor R2. Um, this is free, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is free in the Tone Junkie um, uh, free pack. It's just a free pack that's in there. If you haven't gotten that, I mean, go ahead and pick it up um, because it's free and why not? And it sounds great. Um, I dialed in a pretty modern tone here. Now these effects I just dialed in right here, so those are not in the free pack, but um, they're pretty simple to dial in. Uh, let me just show you what I've got going on here. So I'm dealing with a compressor, a tube screamer, and like some delay here, and then I've got um, some modulation and um, a delay and a reverb. Okay, now that's all great, but I have two choices when I wanna go save effects. I could either hold that, let's hold down reverb real quick, and when I, when I hold down like an effect, and I hit store, well, I can either store that reverb preset by itself. See, it says rev module or entire rig. If I select rev module, it says, what do you want to store this as? Now, for some strange reason, the Kemper here pulls the last effect that you just pulled up as the name. So it's asking me, not even the last reverb effect, but just the last name. So it's asking me, do you want to save this as Corage Vintage CE1? And why would I want it to save uh, a reverb? as that name, I wouldn't want to, right? Um, but let's not do that anyway. L let's not do that. Let's instead, let's save this entire block. So let's save this this EQ, this chorus, this delay, and this reverb as sort of a, almost like, think of it as like a piece of a pedal board. Think of these two as like you can save two sides of a pedal board before the amp and after it. So what I'm gonna do instead is, I'm gonna hold down effects, and when I hold down the effects, you can see um, the effects here in the current state they're in, what is on and what's off. When I hit store here, it says save effects section or save entire rig. I can go save that effects section. It's going to say save effects preset. Well, that's a name I could use, but I don't want to. I'm going to call this effects one. Why not? I mean, you can come up with whatever you want. I could describe it or something. Now I'm going to hit store. Okay, now here's why this is really cool and this is useful because now I don't have any effects locked or anything, but even if I did have effects locked, um, a lot of people will lock their effects, go to a different profile, and then save those over a different profile. You can do that, but locking your effects in browse mode won't affect the, the effects that are active in performance mode. So if I go over here in performance mode and I wanna create a new performance, um, let's just say that I go over here, here we go, new performance. Um, I've just got some random stuff uh, pulled up here. Um, I think someone sent me this one. So let's use this Morgan AC20 profile that I've got here. This might even be the free one from the Rig Exchange. I'm not really sure what, what's on here. Someone sent me this. But now, let's say I want to just pull up that entire effects section that I had before. I can hold down effects, right? And when I hold down effects and I see this menu here where I'm looking at just the effects that are in the effects section, now when I go to browse, hey look, browse effects presets effects one. There you go, it's there. I've got all my effects right there. Will you look at that? Now I've got that same thing. Now, I didn't do that for the front section, but let's do that real quick. You can see, um, hold down stomps. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna turn that, I'm just gonna turn it off because I want it. I don't want that, that, uh, that tube screamer to come on right away. Now when I'm here, I'm gonna just save the stomp selection. And let's go back here, let's just save this as stomps one. How's that? Just so they match. There we go, stomps one is saved. Now I'll come back here to performance mode and you're probably thinking at this point, HW, you didn't save your work from before. I didn't, but it's okay, it's still here unless I switch to a different uh, profile in performance mode. 
I'm going to hold down stomp in this case. I'm going to browse. Well, look here, actually, I had, I already had a, a stomp uh, preset saved here, but I'm going to go stomp one. I'm going to hit load and boom. Now I can listen to this same sound on a different profile because I'm bringing in stomps like it's an entire pedal board. Now this has more gain than that last one did, so it's gonna sound like this. This is a really cool workflow tip uh, that you should use when you just want to save your favorite effects. Like, I commonly just want a compressor up front. I commonly want a tube screamer um, and like another little effect. Like for me, I do like a compressor, a tube screamer, a soft shaper, and then maybe a delay. Sometimes I do like a tremolo there, a chorus or something. And this enables me to grab all those effects at once and just keep them, store them on the Kemper so that I can have them on different profiles and stuff. Now, I've done this already on my main Kemper, which uh, Stu G has stolen from me right now. Uh, and he refused to give back because I put, I, I gave him all his prof profiles and performances on one and he took it and uh, I got to get back from him before he goes on the road. Anyway, um, big shout out to Stu. Uh, those park packs sound amazing. Check those out if you guys haven't checked those out. But um, this is a cool little trick that I think really solves like a workflow issue and it helps you dial in effects on browse mode and bring them over easily for performance mode when we're creating effects. And it's really a tip you should know because next tip and trick video, I'm gonna talk all about performance mode. It's Kemper 201, follow up to the 101 video, which people uh, seem to really get a lot out of. So 201, I'm gonna show you a bunch of tricks with morphing, performance mode, and all sorts of things you can do with the remote that a lot of people may not be aware of. Um, and it's gonna be, we're gonna use this trick because it's gonna help us build performances uh, qu more quickly than if we didn't use this trick. So anyway, I've been HW, hope that's helpful. HW. Out.